Hello, and welcome to this section on factory method design pattern. This video is part of a 20 hours Udemy course where we cover hundreds of real world design pattern scenarios. What is factory method design pattern? The factory method is a creational design pattern that provides an interface for creating objects but allows subclasses to decide which class to instantiate. It is a type of object-oriented programming pattern that promotes loose coupling and adheres to the open-close principle which states that classes should be open for extension but closed for modification. The factory design pattern is useful when you want to delegate the responsibility of object creation to subclasses rather than having the base class directly create objects. This allows for greater flexibility and extensibility as new subclasses can be added without modifying the existing code. By using the factory method pattern, you can encapsulate the object creation logic within subclasses, providing a consistent way to create objects while allowing for flexibility and customization. This pattern is often used in frameworks and libraries where the exact object type needed is determined by the client code at runtime. Hello. And welcome back. In this real world code example, we will create a document processing skeletal app using the factory method design pattern. The code will create different document types such as Word document, PDF, and HTML files, and open them using an open method operation. The first thing we'll do is to declare the abstract class, um, that we'll use to create the interface for the document type. And as you remember, this is the product and then we'll create all the concrete class of the product. So we create a document and it implement this operation open, uh, which is a method for the documents. And then we have classes that implement each document type. The first will be the word document and the open method we just print out opening word document and the next one will be the next document type and it's going to be pdf and it's also going to show opening document type and then lastly we have html document we're going to create the creator which is the document factory that will enable us to create each of these documents and we'll start by implementing the interface the abstract class which defines the contract. The document factory is the creator of the products. The create document will return a document object, which actually creates each of the documents. So, and we're going to start by creating the first concrete class for the creator, which is document factory. And, um, this class will create a Word document. You can see it uses the creator method and returns a Word document. And we're also going to do the same thing for the other uh, to the PDF document factory. We create a, a PDF document, HTML document factory. We'll create an HTML document. I'm going to have the client code and I'm going to start that by creating a method. And that method takes in a document factory is going to take that document factory and calls is create document method and then also the document that is created has an open method and then so we're going to call the open method of each of the documents so this code we run for all the implementation i want to make i'm going to start by calling the first document factory uh word document factory i'm going to pass that word document factory to the process documents uh, method and that will create the document and then open the document. I'll do the same thing for PDF and the PDF uh, create the PDF document factory and then uh, pass it to uh, the document process method for creating the document and opening it. And then I'll do the same thing for HTML factory 
and create the HTML document. If you open this in the output, you will see that it created the Word document, opened it, created PDF and HTML document. So we were able to use the factory classes to create the documents instead of directly creating those documents. And if we want to add a new document, we can just simply add that document here and then of course create it appropriately in the factory and also in the client code. This video is part of a 20 hours Udemy course where we cover hundreds of real world design pattern scenarios. The course is called Design Pattern in Python with Real World Code Examples. We showed the practical coding how design pattern is implemented in real world scenarios like event manager, catch, database connection codes, document management code, creating optimized configuration settings, login frameworks, GUI framework codes, plugin systems, game development codes, payment gateway, document generators, computer graphics generation codes, financial model code pattern, resource pooling, object pooling in ORMs, website creation, database query codes, language translator, web application framework creation, banking system codes, organizational chart creation, file system, interpreter, menu system, text formatting code, authentication code, authorization code, API for OS, document management system, create proxies, event handling, middleware in web development, workflow system, undo redo functionality in hubs, job scheduler scenarios, passers, chart applications, drawing applications, notification system, distributed system, booking system, workflow management system, sorting algorithm, file compression utility, and many more. If you are really serious about your career in programming, you have to get this video. And you don't have to be a Python programmer to use it. Use the link in the description to get the best price for this course on the Udemy platform.